know how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge, how impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and his ways. For who can know? But if his descendants forsake my instructions and fail to obey my regulations, if they do not obey my decrees and fail to keep my commands, then I will punish their sin with the rod and their disobedience with beating. But I will never stop loving him, nor fail to keep my promise to him. No, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. I have sworn an oath to David, and in my holiness I cannot lie. His dynasty will go on forever. His kingdom will endure as the sun. It will be as eternal as the moon, my faithful witness in the sky. But now, oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge. How impossible it is for us to understand his decisions and his ways. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to give him advice? And who has given him so much that he needs to pay it back? For everything comes from him and exists by his power and is intended for his glory. All glory to him forever. Amen. Chapter 12. A Living Sacrifice to God And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. In His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy, and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Chapter 6 The Priestly Line The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. 
The descendants of Kohath included Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar was the father of Phinehas. Phinehas was the father of Abishua. Abishua was the father of Bukai. Bukai was the father of Uzai. Uzai was the father of Zeraiah. Zeraiah was the father of Meraoth. Meraoth was the father of Amariah. Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Ahimeaz. Ahimeaz was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Azariah, the high priest at the temple built by Solomon in Jerusalem. Azariah was the father of Amariah. Amariah was the father of Ahitub. Ahitub was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Hilkiah. Hilkiah was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Seraiah. Seraiah was the father of Jehozadak, who went into exile when the Lord sent the people of Judah and Jerusalem into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. The Levite clans. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The descendants of Gershon included Libni and Shimei. The descendants of Kohath included Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The descendants of Merari included Malai and Mushai. The following were the Levite clans listed according to their ancestral descent. The descendants of Gershon included Libni, Jahath, Zima, Joah, Ido, Zerah, and Jeatharai. The descendants of Kohath included Aminadab, Korah, Asur, Elkanah, Abiasaph, Aser, Tehath, Uriel, Uzziah, and Shal. The descendants of Elkanah included Amasai, Ahimoth, Elkanah, Zophai, Nahath, Eliab, Jeroam, Elkanah, and Samuel. The sons of Samuel were Joel, the older, and Abijah, the second. The descendants of Merari included Malai, Libni, Shimei, Uzzah, Shimea, Hagia, and Asaiah. The Temple Musicians David assigned the following men to lead the music at the house of the Lord after the ark was placed there. They ministered with music at the tabernacle until Solomon built the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. They carried out their work following all the regulations handed down to them. These are the men who served along with their sons. Heman, the musician, was from the clan of Kohath. His genealogy was traced back through Joel, Samuel, Elkanah, Jeroam, Eliel, Toa, Zuf, Elkanah, Mahath, Amasai, Elkanah, Joel, Azariah, Zephaniah, Tehath, Aser, Abiasaph, Korah, Izhar, Kohath, Levi, and Israel. Heman's first assistant was Asaph from the clan of Gershon. Asaph's genealogy was traced back through Barakiah, Shimei, Michael, Baasiah, Malchijah, Ethni, Zerah, Adaiah, Ethan, Zima, Shimei, Jahath, Gershon, and Levi. Heman's second assistant was Ethan from the clan of Merari. Ethan's genealogy was traced back through Kishai, Abdi, Moloch, Hashabiah, Amaziah, Hilkiah, Amzi, Bani, Shemer, Malai, Mushai, Merari, and Levi. Their fellow Levites were appointed to various other tasks in the tabernacle, the house of God. Aaron's descendants. Only Aaron and his descendants served as priests. They presented the offerings on the altar of burnt offering and the altar of incense, and they performed all the other duties related to the most holy place. They made atonement for Israel by doing everything that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded them. The descendants of Aaron were Eleazar, Phinehas, Abishua, Bukai, Uzai, Zerahiah, Meraiath, Amariah, Ahitub, Zadok, and Ahimaaz. Territory for the Levites. This is a record of the towns and territory assigned by means of sacred lots to the descendants of Aaron, who were from the clan of Kohath. This territory included Hebron and its surrounding pasture lands in Judah. But the fields and outlying areas belonging to the city were given to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. So the descendants of Aaron were given the following towns, each with its pasture lands. Hebron, a city of refuge, Libna, Jeter, Eshtimoa, Holon, Deber, Ain, Jutta, and Beth Shemesh. And from the territory of Benjamin they were given Gibeon, Geba, 
Alameth, and Anathoth, each with its pasture lands. So thirteen towns were given to the descendants of Aaron. The remaining descendants of Kohath received ten towns from the territory of the half-tribe of Manasseh by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Gershon received by sacred lots thirteen towns from the territories of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and from the Bashan area of Manasseh east of the Jordan. The descendants of Merari received by sacred lots twelve towns from the territories of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the people of Israel assigned all these towns and pasture lands to the Levites. The towns in the territories of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, mentioned above, were assigned to them by means of sacred lots. The descendants of Kohath were given the following towns from the territory of Ephraim, each with its pasture lands. Shechem, a city of refuge in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer, Jachmiel, Beth Horon, Ajalon, and Gath Rimmon. The remaining descendants of Kohath were assigned the towns of Aner and Bileam from the territory of the half tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. The descendants of Gershon received the towns of Golan in Bashan and Ashtaroth from the territory of the half tribe of Manasseh, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Issachar, they were given Kedesh, Dabareth, Ramoth, and Anam, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Asher, they received Marshall, Abdon, Hukuk, and Rehob, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Naphtali, they were given Kedush in Galilee, Haman, and Kiriathaim, each with its pasture lands. The remaining descendants of Mirari received the towns of Jachnium, Karta, Rimmon, and Tabor, from the territory of Zebulun, each with its pasture lands. From the territory of Reuben, east of the Jordan River, opposite Jericho, they received Bezer, a desert town, Jahaz, Kedemoth, and Mephaath, each with its pasture lands. And from the territory of Gad, they received Ramoth and Gilead, Maenaim, Heshbon, and Jazer, each with its pasture lands. 